If you ask me about Southwest China, I think about the things you're probably thinking about: serene natural landscapes, giant pandas, and the conservation programs that protect them, and very spicy cuisine. Two of the cities that are central to this area are Chongqing and Chengdu. They used to be part of the same province called Sichuan, but in 1997, Chongqing became a municipality of its own, roughly the size of the country of Austria and a mega city of 31 million people today. In comparison, Chengdu is no footnote. It may have only 16 million people, but together these people drive an economic machine of their own. Bookended by interests like medicines, automobiles, and food, what these two cities though share is an earned reputation for pushing for the global electronic information industry. And what many people don't know is that most of the smart devices we enjoy are made at a factory in one of these two cities. For six straight years, Chongqing has been the world's biggest notebook computer production base. One out of every three laptops is made here, and also one of every ten cell phones. Meanwhile, 70% of iPads worldwide are produced in Chengdu. Put simply, the electronic information industry in these two cities alone represent one third of all global production. But there's more happening. To keep the momentum going and to push the barrier forward, companies like Tencent and ByteDance, the brain behind TikTok, are setting up cultural, creative, and innovation centers in Chengdu. That, in turn, is part of Chengdu's vision for its future, where development will be crafted around new businesses such as online games, esports, animation, video, and cultural tourism. Chengdu and Chongqing are joining as a twin city economic zone, which will likely spur more opportunities for innovation and growth in that part of China. The goal of this merger is to form a global electronic information industry base and a world-class electronic information industry cluster. If we look at the map, other regional cities like Shanxi, Yunnan, and Guizhou could also be a part of the next exciting growth. As China grows in this area, we're set to see good competition between established centers like Silicon Valley in the United States and cities like Chengdu and Chongqing. And with tech and digital becoming ever more sophisticated and ingrained in our lives, these are the parts of the planet that will shape the future and bring us closer as a global family. I'm James Chow with the China Current. Thanks for joining us with a glimpse into tomorrow's world. I am James Chow. You're watching the China Current. Follow us on social media at the China Current.